This Gorilla Tech update is amazing. From a plush you could buy online and in game, to one of the craziest and most unique map changes they've ever done. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five things that you probably missed in Gorilla Tech's new update. Because just like these fish, you might be drowning in school. Wait, fish don't drown. Bruh. Just like this beehive right behind me, you might be busy or not have time to play. And you're going to want to stick around because this update gets insane. When I mean insane, I mean extremely insane. What he said. And that's the same reaction I give when you subscribe. If you don't, I'm going to drown Doug the Bug. From brand new ropes to angry bees that let you fly as high as Lucy. Help! Help me! Help. Let's get on to five things that you missed in Google Tech's new update. Number one, the beehives. There's a lot about these beehives. In this video, everything's going to go from the most useful to the most useless. You're going to want to stick around because I'm going to tell you guys how to get this plushie for free. You probably know that there's bees in the game. But as you can see, there's actually honey dripping from this honeycomb. Actually, go up to it and grab a honeycomb. Okay. Bruh. Bruh. But as you can see, when you try to do that, they get angry and lift you up in the air for a couple seconds. If you take not one, uh, but two water balloons, uh, no. uh, bam. Or there's more buzzing and a bunch of bees coming down here. Go around and basically pollinate everything and take it all the way back up there. Up there, you will see that slowly it starts to fill up and you can grab yourself a honeycomb. For each of the beehives, it takes about three to eight seconds to spawn in a honeycomb. Same, and you can, ah, uh, help, help. And yes, you can carry them at the same time, but not only that, what the hell? You can eat them. Bruh. In order for this one to spawn, you'll notice bees will start coming over and pollinating these flowers. A cool thing about the honey is the honey. Uh, a cool thing about the honey is it actually stays on your hand and you don't have to hold the grip. So you can hold any single cosmetic you want with it. And yes, other people can actually eat the honeycombs. Can you eat this? Here's just a couple of the things I noticed. You cannot grab the bees, they teleport away from you. Bees kind of act like Lucy and choose a random person no matter who grabs a honeycomb. And another thing, like Lucy, you can actually speed them up by running longer. The longer you run, the faster the bees get. No matter what, it still brings you to the same height. Now the bees aren't only in forest. You can find them here. If you notice, there's a flower pot and even a honeycomb. As you can see, they are stuck in place and really loud. And they don't even work. That's about it for number one, so let's go on to number two. Map changes. Usually it's the most useless, what? but in this update, it was one of the most useful things. Starting with these bins of, well, looks like corn. You see, this update is all about celebrating this holiday right here, which it explains it all here. Celebrate the con- I can't read. It even says on this sign right here, and there's so many of them around the map. The holiday comes out the 20th, so I'm wondering if they're gonna do something special for the holiday. Next up is these vines. This is the first time that Gorilla Tech has changed an existing skin. What? I've also added tons of Easter eggs around the map. Even the ropes have turned into vines. Now, this video is for the people that haven't played, so obviously you already know this. Unless you haven't played. Bruh. Okay, okay. Enough with the boring stuff. Let's get on to the update. Specifically this. I look like a normal table until you grab something. And now you're really, really tiny. Not only that, it acts like the winter train, where you can actually launch off of items. It's also one of the best close-ups we get of the metallic texture. It's literally just the sky. Now, jumping off the table, you return to, well, normal size. But you can still launch off of it. Now they got rid of the science update items in Cloud, but who plays Cloud? It's returned back to his base form, which is kind of weird. There's also flowers all over the- what the heck? All over the map. The only thing I mentioned is the same sound as the lily pad and the trampoline. You hit as far as well. I say this is useful because most of the changes you can interact with. Kind of like these flowers, these flags, these flowers, and so much more. Also, caves barely got touched. I'm not gonna bore you with all the other changes, but those were the main ones. So let's get on to number three, the animals. Bees and all the fish go- But did you know there's actually one more? If you look up there, it actually looks like a chili pepper. Bruh. But it's actually a butterfly cocoon, so we might be getting- And maybe butterflies in a future update. Already went over the bees, but the hive turns purple and like this type of lighting. Purple lighting and even this type of weird sky. It looks different and kind of unique. I don't know if it was here before, but tell me down below. If you take one of these and throw it in here, you will notice that all the fish go to it. Also, if you take one of these and a Minecraft dirt block, they look exactly alike. It's identical, down to the gray specks to the light spots. Another cool feature is you can actually shrink these food. I just softlocked myself by doing nothing. You can see something crazy going on up there. If you do this and drop it in, you will see that it explodes. But if it's tiny, the only thing it does is bounce, and it does this forever. And this happens with any of the items. Okay, maybe it doesn't work with that. Not only is there one kind of fish, there's multiple. Also, sometimes they kind of freeze like this for no reason. And unfreeze them, you just chuck one of these in there and... Okay, never mind. Bruh. If you take the fish food... <laughs> coming all the way over here, you will notice that there's, uh, these type of fish. There's somewhat of a yellow-green color and they just do nothing. <laughs> oh, there's fish food right here. 
But that's not the only fish. If you come to the pirate ship right about here, fish, and they're always stuck until you, well, throw these again. Okay. And they kind of fix. And for some reason, they're always blue because... And just like the bees, if you go to grab them, they swim away as fast as they can. Also, face to the wall. I just I just figured that out. I forgot to mention slides were pink in the map changes, but they kind of... Wait, are they pink? Great opportunity, and a bunch of frozen fish would have kind of been cool. Where you could throw it, and they would move out a little bit. But this update is really, really good, so I don't expect them to add anything more. That is really it, and that's every single animal in the game. Honestly, I kind of like how they're adding more, and they added a little pond inflate... In place of volcano. I honestly think it's one of the best ideas they've ever added. You literally have every You're the stick. Game. You're the stick. Bye. All of us see rattlesnakes for Nether Wild West, because we are getting probably a flashback for that, because almost every item is an OG apparently. Now what is this? Bruh. Came a long way from the trenches. Ooh, came a long way from the trenches. And this is going to be a cosmetic that you can have in real life. Which brings us to number four, cosmetics. Release this thing on makeshift, which you could buy for $40, which is kind of pricey, but it will give you this cosmetic in game for free. The Gorilla Tech plushie is really, really cool idea. And honestly, go buy it if you really want this cosmetic. And if you want to know what it looks like, I can try to show you. So basically what I did was something crazy. I'll work, but that's confirmed something that's supposed to be coming to Gorilla Tag. That's kind of like a beta blocker. Or it looks like it's going to be a tester. Wait, what? How do I get out? I don't know if this is a Steam thing or just me thing. This shop also has one of the most items in a while. Along with the small detail, this umbrella was the smallest umbrella added into the shop. This sign right here for the fur is the only one used besides this one. And this over here, ever in the game. The only difference is it doesn't light up. So one right there. And right here... Well, uh, well, and right here. It's also the first ever skin for you new players. First thing to have a PNG type like render right here. Also, I figured out how to make the sign glow and this just, I don't know. Fishbowl's not bugged when it's on your head, obviously. This up here actually says now Ruzz or Ruzz. Could be wrong, but I did look it up and that's what it said. Number five, this is my own minor details that I've caught onto. These shells are broken and these buckets are actually from the last year. The textures for Gorilla Tech colors are actually changed. This isn't a black anymore, it's more of a gray. and more like shiny colors. This couch looks completely different. It looks like they changed the entire thing. These right here are actually from a update from the fall update when they released, I think, Pi. This is the first holiday that Gorilla Tech is ever celebrating. And this is the newest holiday that they're celebrating. This is also one of the first times they've ever changed the lighting inside a city. And honestly, I really like it. It's more of a warm, cool lighting instead of these weird lights. Sometimes this happens a lot. If you mess with stuff, this is kind of the beta file for almost anything. As you can see, I can press all the game modes, and this is the what the bait. You can press all the game modes and even press two at a time. This is really, really sad. Doug lost the other Doug. This is the other Doug. Don't explode. No, it's literally just the same. And last time they changed the swamp today, and this time they changed it to uh, nothing. That's really all I noticed in this massive update. It's one of the best updates. So tell me you guys' opinions. And uh, okay. All right. Hopefully I don't explode.